So we have only got one episode left until the midseason finale, which, keep in mind, if you watch anything afterwards, they say, like they, they said it on The Talking Dead and they said it, uh, like the, the voice guy, you know, the previously on the, that guy was saying that like, Love it's going to be an, it's going to be a shocking moment. They won't talk about the episode in a whole, that there will be a shocking moment that everyone will be talking about. So we know that means a main character is going to die. Now the question is who, but we'll get to that at the towards the end. Right now we're going to discuss the episode. I, I think it's going to be that Jadis actually uses a complete sentence. I think that'll be the that moment. would be fantastic. Yeah, I would talk about that. That's good. I would talk about that. Or maybe she's going to actually get her sculpture of Rick without his boxers. I don't. I don't and see they'll how, show it. They're going to show yeah. it, so everyone's going to be talking about it. How is he not flattered by that? I would love to have a sculpture done of myself. As he was choking the her, I really expected her to say harder instead of, you know, <laughs> or yes or whatever she did say. Like one of those memes, harder, daddy. What? Yep. What? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rick would be like, what? <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we episode seven. It's hard to believe. I just, it just came back on and we're already through seven heading towards eight. Ah, what an episode. So we find out that Eugene is straight up full on Teen Negan. I, I, I don't know that um, I don't know that the Ocean's Eleven thing is going to pan out, though. I would have uh, loved to have seen it happen. Um, I'm changing. Yep, changing directions. On he's that full one. Team Negan for me, and everyone's got their own opinions. So but don't he, give a he damn. Ha- he I hasn't. Am, he hasn't rat finked on Dwight yet. No, but I am so done with Eugene, man. Wow, like, yeah. I, I am. I am so ready for them to just like. And I don't think they'll kill him. I think something will happen. He'll redeem himself and come back to Team Rick. But Still, I'm just I'm done with you. You think he's getting ready to drunk dial Negan? Yeah, like he got the intercom working. He's gonna do the the first ever Walking Dead drunk dial. And he's just... like, what are you doing, <laughs> <laughs> Negan? I gotta tell you something, but you gotta promise you won't tell nobody who yeah. told you, Kay. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just, I'm done with Eugene, man. I, I don't really give a damn what happens to a stupid ass from this point on. I actually find myself liking Dwight. And I remember like a season or two ago saying I just didn't find Dwight, even the actor, to be that likable of a, of a care, you know, a person. But uh, I actually found myself uh, liking Dwight here in the last few episodes. He's still grown into the character. Now that, um, yeah, he really has. I mean, him, you know, he's he, he really has. Uh, but yeah, now that Sherry's gone, man, he's done with Team Negan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, did, I did like the point where he talked about how Negan is done. Right. These people don't just Negan, mm. no one else. So he's he's really got it out for like specifically Negan. And we've got quite the uh, conflict of interest here because we've got Daryl and Rick already at odds, and now they're going to really be at odds yeah. considering that Daryl just ruined Rick's entire plan. And I mean, you look at the morality of the situation. You know, Rick is like, look, man, I only want to kill Negan. He's still talking about trying to let the lieutenant surrender because he think he knows that everyone there is only doing what they're doing out of fear because, you know, Negan's yeah. going to kill them if they don't. So Rick's trying his damnedest to give everyone a fair shake at life, whereas Daryl is just like, dude, I want to kill everyone in that building. I don't care if they're innocent. Whoever, people got to die. And so, and now that uh, Daryl's kind of interfered with Rick's plan, and Tara, man, like, I'm done with Tara. <laughs> like, yeah, she's uh, on my Eugene I'm list. Like, I mean, I've never really known anyone to be like a Tara fan. Like, oh, she's my favorite. But now I'm to the point where it's like, just shut up. She's a couple notches down for Denise. From right. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Lord. You know. Yeah. They're cut from the same cloth. You uh, know, it's just like same shit covered cloth. Mm hmm. So, yeah, uh, going to be some definitely some square. Maybe that <laughs> I watched all of season two of The Walking Dead the, uh, over the weekend, to Ooh. which I've got to say, man, I know that critics pan it as being like the most boring season of The Walking Dead, but mm-hmm. it's probably like my favorite. I just I love that season. I love John Bernthal as Shane. I love the tension between he and Rick. I love like the the questions that arose. I mean, that's back when I think The Walking Dead really kind of found its footing as a show. So but anyways, I was like, and it's not going to happen, but what if that's the moment everyone's going to talk about? Rick's just going to walk up to Daryl and be like, hey, brother, and shank his ass. Mm. I do think Daryl's on his way out. I got a feeling that Daryl's going to be what we're going to be talking about. But all those fans will riot. I think they've written him to be so boring the last season or two that they were like, here's the plan. We're going to make Daryl no, really boring so people won't don't riot. Stop, no. <laughs> no, I, I, no. I think it's going to be a fake out, man. I think all that, that melancholy talk he was doing in the truck is just there. We're going to make people think he's on his way out. You give this show too much credit. Like That's what we complain about, <laughs> that this show is extremely predictable. Not, not as clever as I think it is. Yeah, that's what we've complained about for a while, is that this show is just extremely predictable. So like, Whereas you think a fake out, a, a normal show mm-hmm. would do something. Something like that, like make yeah. you think this character's about to go, and then bam, this other character goes out of the blue, and you're like, "What the hell?" <laughs> the Walking Dead, straight up, like three like episodes ahead of time, going, "Him, him, he's gonna die." Everyone, this guy, watch him, 
and then he dies. So you don't think it'll be Michonne instead of Daryl? I don't. I, I could see Michonne making an exit if they're going to follow like the comic Andrea storyline because that's kind of where she's. They've really softened Michonne up. Like she's really kind of become Andrea from the comics now and not Michonne. And man, with all the movie work that actress is getting right, I can't remember she's her name. Gonna, uh, Gri- she's going to be in the Black Panther yeah, and yeah. the Infinity War. She was in the Infinity War trailer. I could definitely see her want you know wanting an out. Yeah, she's so she's staying busy, busy lady. I think Carol's probably. I mean, we, we've been talking for the last couple of podcasts about who's going to die, but I mean, it's just because, like, going back watching, you know, the older seasons, it's like at this point we are like nobody's really dying, so we're like, who is going to be the one to go? Um, some people saying Carl, you know, he just cut his hair, which I know sounds insignificant, <gasps> but a lot of times when these actors, like, you know, they cut, which I mean, he could get a haircut on this show. You know, he could have been like, look, man, I've had the same haircut for the past like. Five seasons. Can I please just say, hey, Carl, because scissors still exist in the apocalypse. It could be, but it, there are people saying between that and him, him getting accepted into college, yeah, that he's making his out. But he went to high school while filming the show, so it's not well, out. You can of always, the, you did know. he go to like high school classes, or did he have a? Tutor I think he actually. Set? I think he had a tutor at some points, but I think I read that he actually went to high school. I know for a fact he actually went to high school during some of the filming. Maybe it's, a, it's just symbolic. Maybe just cutting his hair is you know it's a it's a new right. Maybe Carl's going to grow growth, up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like he's he's because I've actually I re, going back watching these old seasons. I wasn't a fan of Carl. But, you know, here in the last couple, now that he's kind of grown up and become his own man, I, I like Carl just fine now. So, of course, now they're going to kill him when I finally like him. Yeah, I, his sweet bangs, though. I mean, he uses those to cover his... Please uh, don't say that about a little boy. No, no. He's, he's, he's not a little boy anymore. He's, he's getting ready to go to college. Yeah. He's a young man now. It's he still, can talk about his bangs I'm sorry, Matt. Totally it's still legal. creepy when JP calls oh, the guy. Oh, 100% creepy. No, However, it's not. I think, well, he know. still looks like a little boy to me. I mean, I considering I'm not going to reveal JP's age, but compared to JP's age, he is a little boy. Boy. Seven years old. <laughs> Look, I can tutor a college age boy if I want. I mean, Socrates did it, you know. But I well, I agree with that. But are you saying that you are the modern day equivalent of Socrates? And it's pronounced Socrates, by the way. And I am, and I'm not drinking your hemlock. And uh, the, the bangs, they're utilitarian. They cover his nasty eye Did Socrates eye hole. believe the world's flat? Um, he probably did. He was trying to reveal the truth, mm. I'm sure, and that's why they made him drink the hemlock in the first place. Those utilitarian bangs. And no, mm-hmm. I'm not going to diddle any teenage boys because the Greeks were, were well, fine well, with it. I don't think All right, look, moving that's on. What we're talking about the Walking about Dead. That. Let's we move forward and not that. talk about diddling little boys. That, that's where you guys yeah. were All going. Right, I was so, jumping to the chase. So, anyways. <laughs> I would not fall into your trap. All right, so, but a lot of people, th- I don't think they'll kill Carl. I don't think that they mm. will actually do that. I just don't see them having... It would shock everyone and get us talking. Yep. It would, but... They they, need to do something. Yeah. This is apparently the lowest rated season since season two. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Which they're still dominating, but it is the lowest rated season they've had in a long time. I just... Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, man. I just... Just get back to the era of... Like, that was kind of like the mystery of the show. Just, you know, like, especially in the first couple of seasons was that, like, any character would die at any time. There wouldn't be really any warning... I mean, you'd have like a few signs, but yeah, I, I just I think they lost a lot of people last season, and now that this season's actually pretty good, you know, it's just like I mean, they, the lose, they didn't done. lose too many. They didn't lose too no, many. The they lost Daryl and Abraham, but I, think no, I mean viewers. To say the oh, season. viewers, yeah, viewers, yeah, not, so. yeah, not characters. Yeah, um, character yeah viewers. I, I'm trying to think. Uh, so we've got uh, a drunk Eugene. I don't know what that exactly means. We have to see him vomit. Props to him for that. He mm-hmm. literally uh, vomited. vomited. Yeah, yeah it's gross. so yucky. Bit of liquid in there. Yeah, so uh, drunk Eugene, Rick, straight up. I mean, these these, sca- these not scavengers, these uh, trash people. They trash just didn't know people. who they're dealing with, man. It's what? Rick freaking Grimes. Oh, you messed up the second you let him out of the box. Compared to the uh, Jesus Morgan fight, that was a really lame oh, yeah. fight. And also. I do like that he ripped the head off. Like that. Yeah. Was, like that's common sense. But, like, why do you need that potty? You know what I'm saying? It's just something to steer. All you want are the teeth, just. You know, you like chew someone's throat out. The head will do that just fine. Why did no one shoot him? Because mm. like literally, plot they were armor. surrounded. Plot armor. Yeah. He was coated in that invisible plot armor. Mm-hmm. No, and I think Jadis honestly was a little turned on. I mean, oh, like 100%. Rick, had, yeah. you know, I think she was one of those. She liked being overpowered, and she's like, oh, maybe this guy is a leader worth following. When she held up her hand and did the fist, I really thought she was going to do like the jerk off motion. <laughs> that would just let everyone know. I thought she was just Scattered. letting them know what time yeah. it was for poor old yeah, Rick with uh-huh. the fist. I won't yeah. go any further, but she's like, I'm tell you what's going to be in this sculpture. But yeah, I don't know, man. I um, I don't know why nobody shot him, but I guess because he was going to have Jadis, right. you know. 
And just like why nobody's shot Negan when he stepped out. I get the whole generals and no, lieutenants bat- thing, but this dude is like the, the this dude is like the you know apocalypse. I don't want to say he's the apocalyptic version of Hitler, but I mean, right now he's like the worst human being that we've seen in this universe. I don't care if one of his lieutenants end up falling or not, man. Just kill the guy and then, you know, give everyone else a chance to surrender. I mean, at this point, how do they not just kill everyone in there? I mean, there's no like rectifying what they've done. There's no justifying Mm -hmm. it. I mean, well, they'll find people will find ways to justify things. Yeah. But at this point, you just got to go scorched earth. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's (laughs) just my opinion. Burn it all down. Turn it to glass. Mm. Whew. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think of what all, because I was actually, so Father Gabriel apparently is infected from covering himself in the guts. <laughs> He's got oh, an infection. So what is it? I Urban. mean, but I, it's just like, they're so loose with their rules of what will and won't infect you, though. I mean, you look at like Nick on Fear the Walking Dead, that dude will wear like a white t-shirt, no jacket, nothing, cover his body in zombie guts, and then just be good every episode, and it's like somehow, f- now again, I was dozed off before it came on. I had to be woke up when when it came on. So, did they explain like it got? In, did he have a cut that maybe it got he didn't, into? He didn't or explain anything? No, but I'm assuming that must have been it, though. He was going to go to the market blue. and get some herbs for some Eastern mm-hmm. medicine. Or he could have Resident he, Evil Seven, so every yeah. time you say herb, I just hear the he's little. He's going to get some parsley and sage and stuff, and like some mm-hmm. butter, and just smear it over the wound. I bet even just a fresh shave, if if you're covered like that, just having like the you know the openness from shaving, I bet could infect you. Because yeah. Negan had that kind of like. Chis- Chiseled beard, not chiseled beard, you know, grizzly beard. He did say that it had spread a little. It could mm-hmm. spread or it's yeah. going to spread or something. I mean, it, it was like, I mean, they're just, like I said, they're very loose with what will and won't infect you. I mean, remember like season six when Rick like ripped that zombie's throat out? Was it season? Maybe it was in the season uh-huh. five when he rips that zombie's like throat out or uh-huh. whatever in Alexandria before they accidentally kill the mayor or the whatever, De- Deanne and her husband. Well, no, kills the yeah. husband, Reggie. Um, but you know, Rick like rips that zombie's throat out or whatever, and like guts are all on his face, mm. and it's just like you know, Hot. they're but very I, loose with what will and won't. Looser infect you. than Lori in season one. Oh my gosh! Mm. Mm-hmm. But I think the shavings what killed Father Gabriel. You know, the British explorers who first got into the uh, Egyptian tombs. That's what killed them. All the microbes from where it had been sealed off so long, and they had fresh shaves and. Those are microbes got up inside of them and, and killed them. So now when I look That's like a, true. A, a, a grizzly mountain man because I refuse to shave, you can mm-hmm. blame JP. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'd usually blame JP for everything. So. Oh, that I'm not going to argue with that. But. <laughs> uh, let's see what else happened this episode. So we got the trash people. Uh, we've got we got the got, trash people. Uh, now they're hell. I told JP, man, I would not trust them. Like, I would totally no. use them. But I hope Rick has some exit strategy with them and is not just going to. Which then again, Rick could be looking at it. The same way he's looking at them, like, well, they only did it because they knew Negan was more powerful. and would, I don't know. I would not trust those people again. Fool me once, you know. I think Rick has got to have some kind of backup plan. I mean, because it's, it's Rick Grimes, man. He looks man. very shocked. Mm-hmm. <gasps> <gasps> like, I, he, I don't think he said anything, but I could hear it in his in mind. In his mind. He's like, mm-hmm. Daryl! <laughs> now I just use them as human shields. Yeah, I like how... Daryl, you... <laughs> Damn, I, like how I cannot talk this morning. People God, can drive. have mercy, man. People can drive. Uh, <sighs> I just can't talk, know? man. I just can't. I, I said Team Negan instead of Team Negan. Like it I sounds cannot the exact talk. Same through the headphones. It's been a long mind. freaking weekend. I'm You're, not you that. You're not kidding. You're not kidding. I bet uh, Team Negan was very charismatic. I bet Team Negan was very. I bet Team Negan's hit puberty at 11 years old. He had like a, a leather varsity jacket. He was just you know. Mm-hmm. He's yep. not a teen. He's a tween. You know, mm-hmm. tween Negan would be even more adorable. Oh than my teen gosh! Negan. Could you imagine Justin Bieber haircut? Oh. <laughs> He's got a little T-ball bat instead of oh. a real full baseball bat. Uh, what was I talking about? I'm just letting you guys go. <laughs> I am no longer directing. I'm just going to yeah. let you two go. Have at it. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> well, we said Tara. Tara's an awful human being. Negan. What is Negan? What, 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 oh man, I was about to make it. No, probably wasn't going to make a good point at all. Anyway. Uh, oh, got it. Figured it out. I worked my way there. Uh, Daryl uh, jumping from that truck. Is it? <sighs> I've never done it before, but is it is it super simple just to jump from like a twenty five yeah. a mile per hour moving car yeah. and just get up like nothing's wrong? Yeah, I want to see it. Sadly, I was. I don't. I don't believe it, but I want to see it. I was once uh, twenty five miles per hour is very fast. I was once a stupid kid. We, uh, my friends and I, mm-hmm. when I was in my early twenties, we bought a Buick Lesabre from my uh, neighbor, my crackhead neighbor. Mm-hmm. Don't don't know where it came from. Mm-hmm. We bought it, and we were like trying to make a jackass movie. And somewhere there exists film of uh, two of us riding in that car. I wouldn't. I don't know if we were going twenty five miles an hour, but we definitely got up to about fifteen twenty and just jumped out and let it slam into a tree. Oh my god! Okay, we were stupid. Yeah, but uh, I mean, I did have on elbow pads. I had like the skating pads on my elbows and my knees. But that's it. Did the car still run? 
No. After you hit the truck? No. What would you the, do with it after that? Run? We took it to the scrap yard and got oh. like 100 bucks for it. Nice. Oh, man. Times have Happy changed. Happy ending. 300 yeah. now. So, I mean, yeah, you can jump from a vehicle rates. like that and actually survive. I mean, Tuck and we roll, did. baby. Yeah, we did. did. Mm. Cruise control. Oh, yeah. I didn't we, just put it, we, just, we just put it in cruise control. But, yeah. Because we got go. it up to where we were going, put it in cruise control, and then we're like, three, two, one, and just opened the door and jumped out. Mm. I might have had on a helmet, too. I don't know. Don't so, yeah, I mean, I'm really pretty good... sure you would get hurt, but, I mean, that truck wasn't really going all that fast because he kind of threw the cement thing on there and then jumped off. So I imagine it hadn't quite gotten up That's to, like, speed. like a five-foot drop up to the top of the truck. True. Right? And, I mean, we were in a car straight to the ground. Daryl was, like, it. way up here. Like, he's that plot armor, man. And you forget he's a country boy. That is true. Country that makes your skin harder and say. your bones. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. All right. No. Yep. Um. Uh, another question that I had, Rick. Uh, how does one stay that beefy? Oh, he looked great, didn't he? Dude, but he well, can he, find time no to way. work out. They're but eating the protein, well. Protein. There's. Uh, are they're they getting, eating well. Are they Dude, getting, look at Samuel. They? Look at Michael Clark Duncan. How tall he was. The you know we lost him a couple of years ago. Look mm-hmm. how big and beefy he was. He was a vegetarian. You can still mm-hmm. find protein without a lot of meat, but I mean I'm sure they're hunting. Did he did and, protein powder when he worked out and stuff. Mm-mm. I don't know. Maybe supplements, but I mean I, you know Since who knows? Can't get supplement. It's got to be people. There's people that do catalytics, man. That that don't. You know, do they don't take supplements? They don't take creatine. They don't do nothing. They just straight up eat healthy and work out, like eat vegetables and lean meat, and they get big. It's all about the way your body. I mean, body types. You he know what I mean? Pretty jacked. I yeah, was, I, I, was I very, agree, like, man. Wow, this is the biggest I've ever seen him. I think because I think in like season first couple of seasons, you know, he was just an average size guy. He wasn't like skinny, but he wasn't big. And then in like uh, as it started, like I think season five or six he had started getting a little stockier like his arms were looking bigger and then this season man that chest was coming on out there man Ooh. until they showed the the full scene i didn't know that when they were taking pictures of him i looked away for a minute but i didn't know he was wearing boxers i thought he was like completely naked right and mm. she was they were like what are you taking pictures before I was like, before <laughs> what <laughs> and the after and i was like what is happening right now mm-hmm. uh so I, i'm still standing Ooh. beside that i'm getting yeah, the vapors just talking about this on. lord of mercy you good you I, I think we were all admiring rick's physique this episode what kind of vapors let's not lie mm. oh, i'm not gonna lie i brought it up i would never lie yeah it is, is that it <laughs> we're, doing, <laughs> is it? we're done with the rick's body conversation <laughs> oh man he and um was there? Well, there was one more question. Something about Eugene. Uh, how did? Yeah. Okay. So where did he get? We saw him get the speaker. Where did he get the glider? Yeah, like the stuff for the glider. I mean, I'm, I mean, the savior steal everything. Looking. Like okay. anything they run across, they take and they make people give them like all of their stuff. So I'm sure somewhere Negan went into like a little town and was like, "Holy shit, is that a glider?" Let's okay. take that with us. I, you know, I don't know. It would have been nice to see a, a glider flashback, though. Like, like, like Eugene just steals it from a little kid like that, that is mine now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll trade I, you a pickle we, for it. Can yeah. we just have appreciation for Eugene's poop face there oh, in that scene God. when he was, like, raging? Man, he made a lot of different faces in this uh, In this Josh McDermott. Is that his name? Yeah. yeah. Very good acting. Face yeah, it really is. Like, like I mean, you see him behind the scenes. He's nothing like Eugene. So really good. Uh, really good. Yeah. He did, yeah, a, he did a great job. Back. He did a great job. Looked like he had to poop. He, he probably did. He's just like, Ugh. you ever drink a half a bottle of wine in five minutes? Don't it just want runs to. right through you. Ooh. Nope. And that looked like a Cabernet Sauvignon. So it's very, very mild. Hmm. It's very, very oaky afterbirth. Oh my hmm. goodness! I'm, I'm not a afterbirth. Yeah, it's a wine reference. Hmm. <laughs> I thought it was talking about placenta, but maybe. Yeah. I don't think you can make wine. Does placenta ferment? I don't it, think so. Dude, anything can ferment if you wait long enough. <laughs> oh, boy. Fairly but then you have to wait longer. And they probably do this in The Walking Dead, too. You have to wait a while for it to rot. But then you have to wait longer than that, and then it becomes edible. Stinky, but edible. They do that in a lot of countries. Oh, gosh. Mm-hmm. Like where they don't refrigerate the cheese. Yeah, well, that's going to put the, like, the wax and the brine around it. Good. And then you crack it open. But I'm not if those are very sharp, very woody... Uh, cheeses, not a fan. Nice creamy Havarti, that's where it's at. Man, mm-hmm. 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 is that the cheese that I like? I can't hear you. Is that the cheese that I like? You're so far away from the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> that might be. It's the cheese that I like. It's the you know the cream, the one from the Christmas party, right? Yes, that's it. Yes. Mm. 
Anything else? Just letting, just letting you guys clear it out your system. Thanks, man. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were taking a break because you couldn't talk. I thought that's what was going no, on. No, I was just letting you guys proceed. Uh, oh, I'm not directing anymore. I'm just really going to let you guys that. just we're run whichever direction you guys want. Directing in the first place. I don't know. Do what? I said, I don't know if it was directing in the first no, place. No, it was, it was, it was di- directing, keeping you guys on the on the walking dead path. I thought we did pretty good. We've talked about uh, Rick's physique. <laughs> yeah, and very important. He's a boxer man, apparently. I always saw him as a brief man. Mm. I didn't know. Yeah, those boxers did look pristine to be in the, uh, you know, through they, everything he'd been through. Do you through. think he's the kind of guy that irons his boxers? Because they did look really crisp. Yeah. Unless they gave him those. No, I don't know. But I, I totally thought, I can't believe she didn't strip him naked. I thought for sure last episode he was naked in that locker. What if they stripped him down to his underwear, but then there was just, I was like, oh, this is really dirty underwear. We need to give him some, just let's. let's <laughs> so they provided the boxers, yeah. Yeah. Well, Nobody wants to fight uh, zombies with. Shitty briefs. <laughs> oh, oh man, do that. And instead of all out war, that should be the tagline for the season. <laughs> Nobody wants to fight zombies with shitty yeah. briefs. That's pretty good. Or if Haynes sponsored the show, that'd be a great, a uh, great commercial. Get on it. No. Oh. See what else? I'll keep going with this. <laughs> Have we talked? Um, what kind of infection do you think Father Gabriel has? The zombie infection. You think this is is it is it like that slow? I mean, it though? could just be a bacterium. Why is it some people it takes an hour, some people it takes four days? Plot armor. Plot mm-hmm. armor. Sometimes it's weaker than others. Yeah. Daryl has really strong plot armor. Father Gabriel probably homemade plot armor. Mm-hmm. He's not exactly a plot armor smith. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. No. So it'll probably be it for him. Father Gabriel, you think so? No, I think he's. I mean, how can you come back from that? From I mean, there's no like zombie immunity or whatever i would hate to be that actor because every time right before they roll they probably have to spritz him with like a spray bottle to get him to look sweaty and glistening mm-hmm. and that's got to be very annoying that has not got to be fun maybe they just like rub him that down with rick's vaseline. hair rick's hair is always sweaty and greasy i bet mm-hmm. they just have to spritz that down what do you think they put in there maybe some mayonnaise or something oh jesus yeah I would think maybe like a vinaigrette, like a, a nice light vinaigrette. Nice I don't know. Nice light vinaigrette. It would smell better at any rate. It, well, I don't know, man. A vinaigrette, eh, to each his own. I don't think a vinaigrette smells very good. It smells like feet. Well, I'm mm. not sure. Like a balsamic vinaigrette? Definitely like a feet no, smell. I don't know. I wasn't a fan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I think Gabriel's done for, for sure. Well, if he is, you called it. Yeah. And I will give you that. Next episode, no more Gabriel and no more... Uh... Is that going to be the shocking death? No, no, that eight? can't be. It wouldn't it's... shock me. But don't they say that every series, like mid-season finale and season finale, something's going to happen? No, they, they... they've never said, like, the shocking moment that you'll be talking about, blah, blah, blah. They're saying, like, one specific thing. is. They always will say, like, the episodes are action-packed when they're not and all of that. But this mm-hmm. is the first time I remember them saying... This a shocking moment that yeah, Walking Dead fans will be talking about, blah, 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 blah. So. Well, well, we'll be the judge of that. We'll be the judge of the ones if we're talking or not. I wonder if it's going to be a, like a who shot Mr. Burns kind of moment. Like, wait till they already the had game. that crap when yeah. Negan killed them. So I hope to God they don't do that yeah, again. Because mm-hmm. that went so well. No. Yeah. It was Maggie, by the way. Maggie the shot, shot Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns. <laughs> yeah. I, I, at first I was like, Maggie, Walking Dead Maggie? Or? Oh, it's right. Yeah. yeah. The Widow. The and Widow. So we'll have, uh, I actually watched the next week clip, the coming up next week for The Walking Dead. Mm-hmm. And it was, uh, we're going to have a little more Carl, a little more uh, Maggie. Yeah. That was all that I saw. A little more Jesus. Oh, lives. that's right. A little more Jesus. Speaking of hair, how does he keep his hair? Is it just genetics or do you think he actually uses... He's hoarding all of the hair cream. <laughs> that must be runs. it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It uh, could be genetics. All the fruit de soleil. Well, they say it's good for your hair to actually like not wash it every day, not with like soap and water. You know, so I mean, maybe actually only washing it every few days has made it look like it does. The natural oils are very good. For good He's got them holy skin. oils. That's why the cavemen had such nice hair. Hmm. Every movie that I've seen. No. Hmm. We'll see what happens. I mean, I, I, obviously we will. Yeah. Oh, let's think. Um, I think we covered like all of the things that happened as far as, we'll see, Negan and 
Yeah. Negan's really close with uh, Eugene now, but I still can never tell. Negan's, when Negan's being well, serious he's or not. Right. He no, no, all Negan's doing is being the genius that Negan is. He's just a, he he's exploiting uh, Eugene's insecurities because Negan knows they're in a pickle. He knows that Eugene's extremely intelligent. If anyone's going to figure out how to get him out of the situation, it will be Eugene. Mm-hmm. So Negan's being a good manipulator and a good Negan, like he just knows how to make Eugene feel special and. So he's just, I mean, because you know, we know hey, next week Eugene could mess up and there'll be no forgiveness. You know, it's yeah. not like Negan's going to be the kind of guy to go, well, you know what? You did save us from that pickle with the zombies. You know, Negan, he'll be right back on the chopping block with everyone else. I think Negan's just, uh, Negan's a genius. Negan knows how to make people do it. And it's a lot of people like that in real life. Like they know how to make Dictators, people do what yeah. they want. Well, it's not so much a dictator as they know how to manipulate people. Depending on the person, they know, you know, what makes people tick and like, you know, know who they're dealing with. And I think that uh, I think he's just manipulating him because he'd say all of this to Dwight if he thought Dwight was capable of of ending this situation. Hmm. Mm. I know one thing. Next time someone reaches out to shake my hand, I'm definitely going to, you know, kiss the ring or whatever. That was that, that was, was yeah, funny. That was that the was only laugh funny. out. Yeah. Who but shakes hands like that? I was going to say it he held weird. his hand yeah. out like that. It was very dainty. Very I mean, dainty. I would have done this, you know, like, hey, yeah. you know, then, honestly, then Negan's yeah. like. I thought he was supposed to kiss the ring. Yeah. I was very mm-hmm. confused. That's what Negan wanted. Kiss mm-hmm. the glove. Was that his glove hand? No, I don't think so. Uh-huh. I don't know. It could have been. I wasn't paying that much attention. Like I said, I was really tired yesterday, so I was dozing in and out the whole episode. Like between the commercial breaks, I would seriously take like little mini naps, and my girlfriend would have to like be like, "It's back on." And like I didn't even see the beginning um, with Father Gabriel. That's why I had to ask JP this morning. Like, so what did they say about? Yeah. I woke yeah. up to him saying like it could start shutting down organs or infecting organs or something mm-hmm. like that's the part that I woke up at right before yeah and they kind of bookended it because right at the beginning was uh, Jadis and them talking to, right. to Rick and taking the picture and then there was the credits and then they kind of ended on that kind of little I mean there was some stuff that happened but they kind of did they've been doing that this season right kind of like this bookend kind of thing right. where they, they focus on something at the beginning and then come back to it at the end maybe it's right. just a director's so what was about. it between Rick and Jadis see I missed that I must have been they uh, they took him. They let him out of the little, uh, like the trailer, little trailer, yeah. yeah. And they took some pictures of him in his boxers. Mm. And she was like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch myself to these later." <laughs> yeah. But she didn't say that in so many words. She was like, "Touch myself later." Right. That's she was like, "Later." Yeah. Myself. Yeah. And he's like, "I don't." She was touch. I still just wish they would have done a better job of like with those people. I mean, like I said, the best way to do have done it would have been like, "Hey, these are a bunch of." I don't know, French, you know, exchange students or, or you know, it's like, and then say like they've been here for about two, three years. So they've had enough time to pick up on English, but just a little bit of it, you know, obviously without modern society, they wouldn't be able to pick up, you know, as good because I mean, they're just, just sticking to themselves. That would make a lot more sense and make the whole thing more believable and more enjoyable. But now you just basically got a bunch of regular people that were like, hey, the zombie apocalypse has happened. Let's be weird as shit. I, and I think the creators of the show or were, I don't know, I think people behind the scenes were anticipating that King Ezekiel would be more welcome as far as his voice and the way that he went over the top. They thought that would be more welcome. Right. So they kind of, I guess, maybe they went along with that. I don't know. You know, they were like, okay, we'll just keep doing crazy people talking. Fuck, yeah, I just think it sounds so stupid. It's not fun. I mean, that's, you know. And then it's like, I would love to see their little meetings, right? Like, you know, they don't talk much. So she's like, I mean, like, wh- at what point do they sit around and teach yeah. each other the hand signals? Yeah. Hand close. Yeah. No so shoot. Chairs just set up in rows. Hand like open. Kill. So it's <laughs> one person forgets. He's like, hand close is killed, right? And then she closes the hand. Pow! Maybe like when Rick leaves, they're like, gone is he? Which now they don't talk like Yoda, but they're like, yeah. gone? Yeah. Okay. Thank God, dude. Oh, my God. Look, how much longer do we have to keep this. talking this like this ridiculous. before he's going to finally get weirded out and stop freaking bothering <laughs> like us? Like everybody's just having many conversations. Uh, Sharon, I want to continue that discussion on <laughs> Of Mice and Men. <laughs> get the book club together. Garbage Damn. People really are garbage. Yeah, I'm really just ready for. I really hope that Rick has a plan just to to do away with them. I don't. Um, I don't know. But yeah, so uh, that episode down the hatch. I think that's uh, right. I think that's about all of the big big events. Do you think yeah. that Eugene? He didn't rat Dwight out, but do you think that's going to change? I mean, he's it's definitely coming. he's drunk now, right? So yeah. he yeah, could. What does like, that mean? He's going to do? He's going to like stumble in there and be like, Negan, I've got something to tell you. I love you. Yeah, <laughs> I I am Negan. And he's just yeah. Dwight's cuter. I mean, he's going to betray you. What? Yeah, I 
Um, but yeah, so I don't know, man. I don't. I, I think we've gotten most of it. There's me, of course, because my iPhone is a piece of shit. So excuse me. Try to just uh, get to the comments. It's got to play the video. Oh, of course. It's automatic. Even then, though I was sitting on the car, I hate my iPhone. When they, like, I will shoot this thing when I upgrade. When I go target shooting, this will be something that's going on the block. This, this program is not brought to you by Apple, just to let you know. Absolutely not. Um, not at least the iPhone 6. The 4 or the 5S maybe, and maybe the 8 and the 10 is great when I get one of those. But that feature, uh, not the 6. That feature the where it automatically starts, there's someone who eventually down the line said, yeah, this is a great idea. Let's implement this into this program and mm. turn around well what's bad like, is I, I had it I had it right there and then like because the phone was locked and I tried to unlock the phone it refreshed the video like I had it I pressed stop everything was good I had all the comment section you know pulled up ready to go and then like the screen just goes off as it does and I unlock the screen and that starts the video again like well it uh, is the holidays so listeners if you'll go ahead and just send Justin a new phone preferably a nice one um what, what, what plan do you AT&T so uh, Verizon. Verizon. So you be yeah, unlocked too. with Verizon. Just like I said, I love, I love the iPhone. Let's give this not, man a new phone. Not been happy. Now everybody else is like, my 6 was great. I'm like, that's fantastic. I must have gotten like the one lemon. But it, just because you love Apple doesn't mean my phone's not a piece of shit. Because <laughs> this phone is a piece of shit. But anyways, let's move to the comments section because I think that we have gotten uh, most of that episode covered. Um, I, I recap, all of the zombies have now flooded the bottom, la- bottom level of the sanctuary. Uh, Rick... Not happy with uh, Daryl's going on. But, you know, Daryl straight up all but told him he was going to do it. Yeah. I mean, I guess Rick just felt like they, you know, they were tight enough. That it's like, oh, he was just being angry. When he goes home and has him some squirrel and some snake, he'll be all right. You know, he'll come squirrel back around. And snake. Squirrel some snake and but, nice um, fruit right. on the side. So trouble in paradise between Rick and Daryl. Maybe they actually will fight this time, like yeah. full on. Bro brawl. Bro brawl. Um, Eugene drunk as hell after telling Negan that, you know, not telling Negan about Dwight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now that might change. Now your sorrows. Morgan, it was great. We didn't even mention that Morgan's back. I, which, oh, I yeah, mean, yeah, he hadn't yeah. been gone Sniping. long, but I mean, he did kind of wander off and he's he's back and ready to kill. I'm so, so scared. I, a lot of people are talking about how he's going to make his transition to Fear the Walking Dead. I've seen a lot of people say that. They won't actually kill him. What they'll do is like he'll leave after this war and then fear the Walking Dead may do a time jump because the Walking Dead's done several time jumps. I mm-hmm. mean, season two to three, we skipped the entire winter. When we came back, they were just getting out of winter and Lori was really pregnant. And then I think season f- season four, maybe the second half. But no, I don't know when it was. But in the prison, we did a time jump. It might have been from season uh, it might have been from season three to four, perhaps. Mm hmm. But they had done that. that was when that whole virus broke out and it was killing everyone and all that. So they've done time jumps before. So on Fear of the Walking Dead, maybe they'll actually just do a time jump and then Morgan will, will you know, roll in as him. I would love to see this Morgan continue. Yeah. But uh, or some people saying it's going to happen, you know, before all of this, because they say Fear of the Walking Dead's quite a ways behind the Walking Dead. How, so. how far? Like a year or so? Or? I don't know. One guy was I was somebody commented on somebody else's comment under one our last video and actually said like how. Because I thought it was going to be something like maybe this is what was happening while he was. Well, it's pretty much that's what happened. Fear of the Walking Dead was supposed to be at least the beginning was taking place while Rick was in his coma. And then it just went forward from there, you know, like they were showing the very beginning stages of the outbreak because when Rick went into his coma that I don't think zombies were mm-hmm. doing anything. But uh, let's see. I thought somebody had uh, commented with that. I don't think so. Did he didn't he see one no. like on his way to the. No. Nope. Just for just rewatch that whole season. I promise you when he, he and Shane are sitting there talking about Lori, they get the call in about the people they go set up the roadblock they wreck and then rick gets shot and he wakes up were the people that they're talking about were they zombies no. on the radio? did you watch the first season it's been so long no there were no zombies before rick got shot no Zombie i'm saying on the radio and they were saying they were setting up a roadblock no that was the people that were running from the police oh, okay. and then they set up the thing and then the car flipped and then they got out and were shooting and rick and shane and all the other cops were having a shootout and then rick Almost got, well, he did get it. What, he got hit in his bulletproof vest? Yeah, or, yeah. And then he got up and was telling Shane, like, don't tell Lori that that happened. And right when he did that, one of the guys snuck out of the car. They had missed him, and he shot Rick, and Rick went into a coma and woke up, and the world had ended. Mm-hmm. So this is all happening, you know, pretty much during his, his coma. But um, somebody, I swear somebody in the comment section had outlined that. Maybe it was another video. But, uh, yeah, I think they're a little ways behind. But So I don't know. How do you think? 
the listener that uh, Morgan's going to be introduced to Fear the Walking Dead because that's mm-hmm. something I'm really curious about. Mm-hmm. We will find out soon enough, but I mean, you know, I don't want to wait. No, I want to be told. No, no, no. All right, so I reckon there's. Yeah, I'm telling again. you, I ca- I hate this phone. I unlock my phone and it starts playing it, even though I I Paul I hate this phone. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And then somebody can go, that's what iPhones do. Well, I promise you, this phone's still a piece of shit. I was trying to te- <laughs> I was trying to check a text message yesterday and showed my brother the screen went white and it stayed white for about a almost a minute, and then it closed out and I had to reopen my uh, my messages. Mm. It's up to date. All of that. No one here. Have you updated it yet? Yes. All right, so Matt, I don't, you start the comment section if you want. Uh, from Savage Rick, he says, "I have a feeling once the trash people finally come around, Daryl will show up and f them up all up." F Wait, which which up. order are you going in? I'm newest, seeing Miss Bub's fan is the newest first. Oh, oh, down at the bottom. Yeah, just a little options button. It just says newest first. I don't have that button. Do top comments. Let's do top comments. We'll get back to you, Rick, Savage Rick. <laughs> I don't have that button. Do you have Miss Bubs fan on on top now? Let me see. There we go, Miss Bubs for fun. Yeah, Miss Bubs. For fun. Oh, All right, so take it away. Too. The perfect death for Carol is to get killed by the hands of a child. The irony. Mm. And then Jeep Jeep chimed in saying, "Oh, that's a good one. She, she did, did actually yeah. give that kid a gun. Maybe he'll accidentally shoot her." That's well, we can only hope. That would be <laughs> that would be a a, a, a cool kind of like twist of fate type thing. She ends up getting killed by a kid. Mm. Or eaten alive by a zombie children. Oh, could you imagine? One of the two, yeah. Zombie children. Or zombie Shiva. Mm. Oop, going with uh, with the next one from Denise Washington. Complaint culture aside, season eight is better than seven. I agree. I like, yeah, yeah, all around. I like how Maggie made lemonade of the POWs, but Jared should have been A, handless, B, tongueless, C, dead by the end of this episode. Denise Washington is nobody to play with in the No, apocalypse. apparently not. <laughs> uh, Savage Rick. Well, if Daryl gets that chokehold, it's over. And even if Rick were going easy on him... Wait. I told you I can't talk, man. <laughs> and even if Rick was going easy on him, almost getting put to sleep is past my line, bros. Haha. <laughs> anyway, Daryl has more brute strength and broke that hilltop guy's arm like it was nothing back in season six. But I trust Rick's instincts and calculations to win against him. The always hot-headed Daryl. Mm-hmm. You guys said you like long comments. LOL. Here you go. Take care, fellas. By all, you and, too, Savage Rick. And I should read off the computer. This phone's just too... That I wasn't can't. even that long. I mean, that was you know that was a, that was a good comment. That Matt's was a calling nice you out, Savage Rick. Comment. I'm not saying you have to do a long comment. Don't feel like that was a long comment mm-hmm. because we've seen some long comments. Mm-hmm. That was a nice, well-worded sentence. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I would have liked a little more punctuation just so I know when to stop sentences and whatnot, but that's okay. Nobody's Nobody's complaining. I mean, it did sound a little like I was planning. Oh, it's Michonne Grimes. She said, hey, guys, I love the podcast as always, but you guys know that. Yes, we do. Thank you, Michonne Grimes. Okay, so I'm going for Rick to win in a fight. Something about Daryl tells me that he could not really physically hurt someone he cares about. Rick, however, would fight to the death. Now tell me how to get my banana bread to you guys, and I'll send it as a Christmas present for the show. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Mm. You guys don't really have to give me anything. I was just messing with Matt. Aw. Okay, well, we still take the banana bread. Have a great week. Thanks, Michonne Grimes. So nice. Oh, homemade banana bread. Yeah, she is, she's a wonderful lady. Oh, my goodness. I haven't had banana bread in quite a while. Lord have mercy. Can, can we now break this, this next one up? This is a long comment oh right gosh. here. Just skip ahead. Just find some points and just skip through it. All right. Oh. In a fair fight, I'm still going to have to give it to Daryl. Mm-hmm. Rick has been shot, what, two or three times, plus had the snot yep. mm-hmm. kicked out of him a bunch more than Daryl has. Mm-hmm. It's probably just starting to take its toll on him. Daryl probably could have easily broken Rick's neck. Wow. Mm. Then, too, but didn't, so he doesn't actually want to hurt him either. I think Maggie should just go ahead and kill Jared. It's clear that his own people don't give a shit about him, Mm. so he won't make much of a bargaining chip, just wasting food by keeping him. She should go ahead and smoke Gregory while she's at it. Oh, boy, he's got no love for these characters. I can't stand the sight of that weasel-faced rat. So I wonder if Dwight left that warehouse where Michonne and Rosita happened upon those two saviors out of the notes accidentally or on purpose. I don't know about the Morgan as a crossover character thing. I personally would have rather had it be Abraham. I don't know how they can fit it into the timeline unless maybe Morgan originally came from Texas and met them before he met Rick. I think Carol is tough on the kids she meets now because 
She feels like Sophia would still be alive now if she had clued her in more on the way things were. Okay. Hope you're having fun here in Murder Beach. Matt, did you go to Murder Beach? Yeah, I didn't know that it was called Murder Beach. Oh, my goodness. Jeez. You should check the liquor stores while you're here. You might find a Jeep prowling about in one. Slow day in it, too. As you can tell by my long assed comment. Yeah, they're, they're clo- the, the liquor stores are closed on Sundays. Oh, so. Found they that are. out the hard way. Yep. Huh. Leo Anything says, Am I the only one tired with the Daryl X, X Machina? I cannot talk today and it's driving me crazy. X Machina, because he saves Rick, understandable, and they and. Mm hmm. And they and they happen to pass by where Carol is, and then Daryl goes to where Michonne and Rosita happens to be. Oh yeah, dude, I'm with you, Leo. I am sick of of just. I'm sick of Daryl in general, Darryl man. I mean, he's again. not a. I mean, he's he's a good character. And going back to like season two and three, like over the weekend, I really enjoyed. Dar- like I liked Daryl a lot in those seasons, but I feel like that's before they. F- made it like the Rick and Daryl show, you know, it was that like, was a really good he was a was really good. cool, like side character that had his moments, but yeah, I'm with you, dude, like down with Daryl. I mean, I'm going to miss him if he's gone, no doubt. He's an iconic character, but I'm just, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see that shirt down with Daryl in opposition to the well, Daryl We Riot shirt. I'd like to see that. Well, this morning, uh, JP was watching it this morning and like when Daryl was, you know, in the truck, like mm-hmm. straight to the building, it's just like, I was just like, Daryl Dixon, yeah, yeah. Like there should be like some theme theme song as he's like beelining straight for the he should, building. He should have his own show, kind of like Renegade, the old uh, Lorenzo oh, show yes. on USA. Uh, uh, Renegade. I can't recall. Oh, from Ten Ton Hammer. I can't recall what video it was. It may have been a map video. M A P P. Does anybody know what that is? Mm-mm. Mothers against pound penis penis patrol? pulling. Oh, okay. I don't know. All right. Wow. You, it could be like one of those yeah, against Paw masturbation Patrol, things. It. Mothers against Paw Patrol. That's a brutal show, man. <laughs> During the off season, when the lawsuits were going down, I said it was a sign of serious in problem, in house problems, and that the next step is cast members requesting leave. If Carl Morgan and Carol leave, I believe that's absolutely the case. Even if Carol doesn't, I'm convinced that Chandler Riggs and Lenny James have chosen to leave the show. Nice job mm. on the abbreviations. Those are, I thought that was, I got those first. That try. was an, another well written mm-hmm. comment. Very good. Mm-hmm. Oh, my turn. Oh, this is the kind I like. Most of these questions can be answered by the comics. Except here, here. for they can't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, obviously, if you read the comics and you watch the show, they, I mean, yeah, they are following some plot points. But, I mean, let's look at uh, Andrea still alive in the comics at this point. She is not in the show. Sophia is still alive in the comics at this point. She is not in the show. So just because something happens in the comics we've seen time and time again does not mean it's going to happen in the show. True that. Uh, Herschel didn't lose his leg in the comics. It was Dale. Dale lived much, much longer in the comics than he did in the show. So, no, you really can't follow the comics as far as... I mean, you could you yeah, could look at them outline. for hints, but yeah. like they follow the main, some of the main story. But, I mean, as far as some of the small details like we're talking about, like who's going to die this season, I mean, it's not so much, but... Just my opinion. J- Juki says, Judith is still alive in a TV show, but not in the comics. And then Nihilic commented and said except when those questions can't and then Caden said random comment they change the story from the comics all the time that they do mm, being mm-hmm. rough on old random I was comment. just uh, I'll, I'll read this next one because I was just reading the responses to JP's uh, officer friendly says you got you guys deserve <sighs> I swear to God, man. I, can I just wake up and this has all been a dream? That like would we be start really this podcast weird. again, please. Very vivid dream, too. You guys deserve more subs. The fact that I have more subs makes no sense. Well, thank you very much, That's Officer very Friendly. Nice of him. Very, very uh, kind. Alisa Jett said, uh, I don't know. I just don't think they even had to make an announcement about Morgan going to Fear the Walking Dead during the first half of the season of The Walking Dead. Did they feel it was necessary to spoil some of their own show before others saw him filming in Texas and spoiled it? If that's the case, I just don't know about the choices for the show being made by certain individuals. I love Morgan and Lenny James is great at playing him. He and Rick are the best two actors on the show and most other shows on TV. Other actors on The Walking Dead are also really good as well, but I think those two really being it the most. Is Morgan, is follow Morgan, I, okay, maybe I'd follow Morgan anywhere, but just to say my thoughts on him crossing over, I really think he will survive season eight now, where I didn't think so before this news came out. Because I think a crossover will be done present time for Morgan. A time jump for Fear the Walking Dead is going to happen. Look where it left off. I, I'm not familiar with it. Does anyone know where it left off? 
Mm-mm. I don't follow it anymore. Well, I'm going to catch up with it soon. I just have to get it on DVD now that's not on Netflix. Yeah, I know. That's so lame. He can just run into someone. Apparently, they've been split up. They've, uh, uh, they can make the story work for each character, and I think it will end up later with the entire cast crossing over at some point. Mm. So look at that. True enough. Got a couple comments from Savage Rick. Sasha's husband is Scott on the show. Fun mm. fact. I already, I already read that. Did that was you already the first read thing that? that I read. Yep, going down a little bit to 09 AM Hooks. 09 AM Hooks? Mm-hmm. You, you seriously read that? Yeah, that was, when the did first you read thing, that? that was the first thing that I read. I thought you Savage started to read, then we changed. We did. I read the whole comment, and then we changed. Oh, my goodness. I mean, we can read it again if you want to. No, no, no. That's fine. Savage right? Rick deserves it. He's a nice guy. He, he is wonderful. I've, I've said that for many years. Mm. Okay, this one is from 09 Am Hooks. What do y'all think about Tara and Daryl saying they are going to kill Dwight regardless of the fact that he's helped them get the upper hand on the Saviors? Do you think they'll go through with it? I'm also really interested to see Eugene's story play out. Mm. As are we all. Aren't we? We're all on the edge of our seats with old Eugene. But no, I, I don't think they're going to kill uh, kill Dwight. I don't no, know. he's got a lot to go. He's got a lot of yeah. story to go. Yeah, I think I think uh, Rick's gonna put a pin in that. So his pin in what'd you say? He's gonna put what in that? He's gonna put a pin in it. Pop the balloon. Oh, it's not gonna know. happen. I don't like your analogies. Oh. Elisa Jet says I rewatch you guys podcast more times than I probably should. Love to see a new one come up each week or come on each week. Uh, almost more excited about your show than this show. Well, thank you so much. You're very. I sweet. don't think we can get a better compliment than that. Nope. Mm-hmm. We'll find out. <laughs> JP just issued you guys a challenge. Yes, <laughs> yes. Shower us with kisses. <laughs> Metaphorical oh kisses. Mandy Ulishny says, I tr- I think the garbage people can never be trusted. Uh, and she also said that last week was her favorite episode of the season. I agree with the garbage people. It for could sure. be a guy because Mandy Patinkin is a guy. So I don't, I'm sorry to use pronouns. Mm. So they... Thank you, man. Risky business this day and age. Mm-hmm. Bruce Skidmore. Is that, that a first-time commenter, perhaps? <laughs> Maybe. First-time commenter! Hello. Rick might have to put out and bang Jadis to escape. I Hello. thought that's what was going to happen, actually. Yeah. I mean, He'd probably escape and then bang it out anyway. Yeah. Christian Antha says, Shane would whoop both their asses. Absolutely. When I was watching season two this weekend, I was like, dude, when Shane and Rick almost got, I mean, not Shane and Rick, uh, when Shane and Daryl almost got into it, I was thinking, man, Shane would whoop Daryl's ass, at least at that point in his, you know, apocalypse, career, life, whatever. So they're saying that Shane would whoop Rick and Daryl's ass mm-hmm. at the same time together? If they I don't know. Yeah, I highly, di- highly doubt it. He couldn't hardly take Rick by himself. So Rick and Daryl, Shane would go down. But one-on-one, I think Shane would definitely take it to Daryl. At least season two, Daryl, when they were in the same, you know. Miss Bubs for fun is back and says, Rick may not be the most skilled fighter, but he always wins his fights some way, somehow, plot armor, and the other person ends up dead. So Daryl might be more scrappier than Rick, but Rick is more brutal and clever, and his fights always end in fatality. True that. For example, Daryl would have never been clever enough to rip out that dude's throat under pressure. I think it's just primal instinct taking over, though. Yeah, yeah. His kid was about to get sodomized, for goodness sake. Uh, yeah, from Drew Bennett. Is that another uh, first time? I, I haven't seen Drew Bennett on we here. We got a couple of new ones. We yeah, if you're a newbie, time. welcome, Drew. He said, or she said, Morgan, I feel, is a maybe. Carol is a definitely. And Carl is a hell no. Nah. About who's going to die? Yeah. So I'm Morgan assuming. may die. Carol definitely going to die. Carl, hell no. That's what Drew says. Yep. I hope you're right, Drew. Let's see. The Big Angelata says, Daryl may win in a fight, but this dumb plan is obviously going to backfire and allow Negan and the Saviors to escape the sanctuary. Negan's going to capture more survivors and use them to threaten Rick. And I still think they're tricking us with Father Gabriel. Remember the powers down at the sanctuary and he was locked in a tiny room for a while. Probably got a heat stroke, but we don't know who gets the holly death until the midseason finale. And isn't Carl safe since he's in the scene with the old man Rick? They might just throw us a cop out. Well, we know now that Father Gabriel does actually have an infection. Daryl's plan kind of sort of worked, but it's not going to do much good for he and Rick's relationship. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't see them killing Carl anytime soon. It's just fun to talk about because oh, everyone yeah. keeps theorizing it's going to happen. I don't think that the show has the balls to kill Carl right now. I say that, and just because I said it, next episode Carl's gone. 
But uh, no, I don't think that they'll kill him. But the old man Rick scene, I definitely think that that I don't think that was Rick fantasizing. I do think that that was actually a flash forward because I mean he had a cane and that kind of is a parallel to the comics and an injury he gets and. So, I mean, I, I think that that probably was. I think Carl's probably safe. I mean, it's hard to kill a man who's already dead. Mm. Am I right, JP? It's true. So, uh, Sab walks with purpose. Good for you, Sab. <laughs> oh, he's walking with purpose. Uh, Daryl should die. I'm tired of his shenanigans. He has blatantly crossed Rick one time too many and never seems to learn from his mistakes. Did Was this just a com- uh, Did you make this comment, Justin? Did you create this, nope. this profile? Nope. Because oh, that is that is that is a uh, um, that's just like your. Uh, I mean, you agree with that, right? Mm, for the most part, I do want him gone. He just, I'm tired of the show. Like, I'm tired of them moving things around and 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 Daryl getting in the way of what could be great storytelling just to keep the Daryl fan groupies happy. Like, dude, he's he's an okay character, but Jesus, I mean, look at Jesus. I mean, that's another <laughs> character that's really good, and the show's just finally starting to try to make us like him. So, And uh, I'm going to skip Miss Snooze just because, no, Rick and Jadis did not lay together this mm-hmm. episode. Uh, Denny Washington says, it looks like if Rick really wanted to add to their numbers, that he should have went to Tree slash Force. Carl and Carol... Picked up folks there. And the last comment. Oh, okay. Uh, Tallulah, 876. Definitely picking Rick for the win versus Daryl. I think Justin summed it up perfectly. Thank Rick you, would Tallulah. remain. Sorry, I didn't mean to overstep. That was really nice of you to, to think, or I didn't want to overstep that. I'm sorry. You no, you could have just kept going. I just was kind of thrown in Rick there. Rick would Thank remain. You. Rick, I mean, that was really nice of you because that was nice of her. Rick would remain clear headed while Daryl is too emotional and reckless at this point. Does anyone else think that Maggie and Gregory has an arrangement to infiltrate the Saviors before tossing him in the pen with them? The last scene between them while in Maggie's office seemed to be cut short, like they had a conversation off screen. Plus, later on that night, he was listening keenly to the Savior's conversation as if he was planning to report back to Maggie. I'm not sure if Maggie would trust Gregory. I don't. I, no, I think Gregory's a little bitch. Mm-hmm. I think he's just been thrown in the pen, and I think that he's going to probably conspire with them and end up trying to help them to escape. Are there any Gregory sympathizers out there? Please, we'd love to hear your I'd case. I'd love to hear about it. Enough to set up a plan with him so it might be a tinfoil hat theory. Great podcast, as usual, and have a great week. Thank you, Tallulah. Me too. Which, uh, it's, it's been a week since you left that, but uh, yeah. we do hope that you had a great week, It was a very week, busy week, and it was a good week, so thank Loving you. Loving the positivity. Ah, oh, man, yeah. Yeah. Especially on the internet, because there's a lot of negativity on the internet, mm-hmm. so I'm really glad that we uh, that we are able to yeah. get some positive people. It's really a nice. Very happy comment section. Mm-hmm. So let's rate the episode, starting with Matt. Uh, six and a half. I'll go with a solid uh, seven and a half. I, li- I thought it was a nice streamlined episode. We had some good uh, plot uh, development. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll give it. A, I was going to do a seven and a half, but so as not to be on the exact same thing, I'll go between you and do a seven. All right. mm-hmm. well, that we'll was a good episode. That. I didn't so, think it was like one of those like, oh, what a strong episode. But I enjoyed it. I mean, again, yeah. they're making uh, they're making some steps in the direction of you know. I hope what I could really be a good hope. story. Mm. I just I don't know. I just feel like the pacing's. I don't know that. I mean, season two was a slow season, but it just was so entertaining and so many different. Season I mean, for two, me, it just this yeah. doesn't catch me the way that it does. I know, it's like you, you can't can wrap make your mind slower. around why. Like, why is it so? I don't know. Do you know. think it's just longevity? Do you think it's just that we've been watching this show so long that it's yeah. just not really anything new they They're can do that's going to wow us? Hmm. I mean, I just feel like they were more creative with their drama back in the the old season, ones. Yeah. Season two was definitely one of the best written seasons. Like, I think had so today. too. Yeah. I think so too. I don't know, like who's come and gone writing wise since then, but I just think that uh, the pretty much dead already. The episode where uh, Sophia comes out the barn. I just think that's probably my favorite Walking Dead episode of all time. Yep, mm-hmm. it's fantastic. All right, well that'll wrap it up for us. Uh, we're gonna do. I think we've got a location for our uh, first Ooh. ghost Ooh. video or, or whatnot. Ooh. Nah, spooky that's sound right. effects. So um, we're going to uh, we're going to do that hopefully soon. Uh, it's a lot of towns have. I've noticed like Danville has one called Gravity Hill. Like a lot mm-hmm. of towns have these, but ours is is a bridge and uh, down near where I live, it's a bridge out in the. I mean, when I say middle of nowhere, I mean it's like no one's around. It's crazy, and it's downhill 
you know, going down, but then it's a straight hill that goes up and you will literally roll up the hill. I've done it many times. Like sometimes your legs go numb. I mean, I, I've actually had like my cell phone just not work, even though it had plenty of signal. Mm-hmm. Um, what was it? One of my ex-girlfriends, her phone just like restarted. I kid you not. Like we got on the bridge, we started rolling and I'm sitting here trying to logically explain it. And I'm like, well, we're going uphill, but we're probably still technically downhill. And, and then all of a sudden her phone just like restarts. And I'm like, hmm. Okay, she's like, okay, explain that. And well, do you have a shitty iPhone? <laughs> you should have got a razor because that was a while back. So. Oh, man. <laughs> but I mean, it's like that's just bad timing. But uh, yeah, so it's a creepy bridge. Uh, yeah, creepy bridge. Supposedly, this guy got in a wreck there a long time ago, and the motor came through the car and chopped him in half. Mm. I do. I will say, my mm. legs do tingle, and I didn't. I wasn't told the whole like it's your, just bad circulation. Your legs <laughs> tingle because of him getting cut in half until like yeah. afterwards, when all of us were like, "Is your legs tingling?" That just happens to me when I'm on the toilet too long. So mm. maybe my bathroom's haunted. I don't know. So yeah, we'll do. Th- we'll have that coming up soon, and then I really want to get JP playing Resident Evil mm-hmm. Seven. Oh gosh, those I games know, are so scary. I know that it's been out for a while. And they're it's, very complicated. It's old news, but I just the whole time I, I finally got around to getting it. It's been a busy year, and so I finally got the game. Was playing it last night, and the whole time I was thinking, you know what? I've played the demo with Matt. I want JP to play this like by himself mm-hmm. in the dark. Like we're not even going to be in the room with oh, you. Like, boy, I've, I've never owned a Resident Evil. I, I played a Nemesis a little bit back in the day. Well, it's got a lot of. One, do you so. remember? The, did you play a lot of that? Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of played through. Do you remember some. like the constant tension? Like, where is he? Can he bop out of a wall? Is he going to? This yeah, game yeah. has that. Oh, like, it has that boy. tension of like your people are after you, and at any point, at any time, he could just be like, "Where are you going?" And you're like, "Oh." Damn it. Oh, boy. So we're going to do that. We're going to start doing more game commentating. So we're planning on doing a whole lot more with this channel as we move into the new year. So yep. uh, any suggestions you have or anything you would like to see you would like to hear, please drop it in the comment section because we make this channel for y'all. So mm-hmm. look, my, my, my super country came out there. Because yeah. mm-hmm. it's like in my brain, if, I, if it's Monday, if I could actually talk in my brain, it said you all but then y'all just came out just just a lot faster and easier yeah. um also uh i suggest watching the punisher oh, uh, john barenthal's amazing i love it castle i mean just I, i'm not it's gonna my lie. favorite marvel show absolutely i agree 100 percent. it is great i think the order of Very operations good. for my top three would be like daredevil i mean no, excuse me the punisher then daredevil season two was mm-hmm. and that really was so awesome because the punisher yeah. was in mm-hmm. it um, and then I really like Jessica Jones. I think that Iron Fist is the worst. Yeah. Um, the Defenders was okay. Not quite Still what I was it. thinking it was going to be, but it was okay. But yeah, if, you, uh, if you're if you looking for something new to get into, it's only 13 episodes. You can binge watch it. The whole thing's on Netflix. It's very entertaining, very tense. John, uh, is it Barenthal's that mm-hmm, I said? Mm-hmm. Couldn't have picked someone better. I mean, if you loved Shane's intensity, but with, you know, a little more direction. And less mm-hmm. Southern draw. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I love that show, man. Absolutely. Very gravelly, nonetheless. Very gritty, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, very, very uh, not your family Marvel film. No, no. <laughs> so give, uh, make sure you uh, check that out. And, yeah, I think that uh, that's all I've got. Yep. Saw Thor Ragnarok and Justice League. Thor Ragnarok's great. Justice League. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. How was the new Flash guy? Did you like him? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's. I mean, it's the, they're playing him young. Right, you know, like he's probably, I guess, in his early twenties or something. I don't know, but they're—it's kind of an origin kind of thing. But yeah, it was well good. cast. I thought it was well. Oh, 100 percent. I think Jason Momoa is going to rock it as Aquaman. Yeah, he's cool. Really great. Everybody's great, uh, but it's just no. Nah. Sweet. I don't know. So that's all I got. Well, good deal. That'll wrap it up for us. We'll see you next week. I'm Justin, yeah, I'm Matt, and JP. Yeah.